currently supporting a Norfolk assistant principal. Some former students are standing by Amy Strickland. She sent a retweet, some call racist. It shows a picture of interracial couples and the message, every white girl's father's worst nightmare or not. Down to your side's Deanna LeBlanc just got back from talking to the students and has their story. Deanna, what did they tell you? Well, Nicole and Tom, the group of girls says they'll do whatever it takes to clear Amy Strickland's name. They say they saw this tweet back in June. They said they knew it was a joke then, and they still believe it's a joke now. <laughs> if there's one thing these IC Norcom High School teens learned from their beloved cheerleading coach, it's this. To never give up and like yes. fight for what we want. So that's what we're doing right now. The girls are speaking out for Amy Strickland, the Booker T. Washington High School assistant principal whose retweet rubbed many the wrong way, but not the girls who knew her best. I, I couldn't comprehend what was going on because I was wondering how could Amy B. Strickland be a racist when she had just came from being with us and never showed any signs of racism or discrimination or anything else. Before moving to Booker T, Strickland taught and coached these girls for years at IC Norcom in Portsmouth. She is very kind, funny, goofy, nice, loving, and caring. They called Strickland a mentor, a friend. They demonstrated today in Norfolk with signs that read justice for Strickland. We also are doing this because we know if it was something with us, she would go to bat. She would lose her job for us, we know, and we would do the same. They say Amy Strickland taught them about courage and believing in themselves. And now, through a retweet, has taught them another invaluable lesson. We've learned a lot from this. You just don't know who's looking at what nowadays, so you just have to be very careful of what you put up there. And they have this message for the assistant principal now on administrative leave. I would just tell her that I love her and it will pass over eventually. Like We have her back and we love her dearly. And Amy Strickland defended the retweet in a statement yesterday. She said she made it in jest and was passing it on to her daughter who attended prom with an African-American date. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc, 10 on your side. Today, the NAACP said in a news release it recommends all staff in Norfolk Public Schools undergo a series of proper culture sensitivity training in an effort to change attitudes and behaviors respecting all cultures in the city of Norfolk. You can see more of that statement right now on wavy.com.